Hello! This is the is Art Babble, in which I, Beth, babble on about art. I made this, um, so I could, am I going right? Yes, okay. Pamphlet journal for facing forward. And one thing I realized as I was doing it, because I needed something to, I was playing with a halo, and I didn't like how the halo was working out. And so I ended up doing these ripples because I started this daily art practice thing. And I've been thinking about daily art practice for a while and haven't done it. And I'm taking Ever After, which I'm really enjoying. It's run by Tam Laporte. It's kind of a collaborative class where there's many different artists who teach. But um, one of the things she did early on before she had children was establish a daily art practice. And since I'm doing the class and I kind of been thinking about it, I decided I should probably, that would probably be a good thing for me to, to try. And some days, believe me, you're not gonna be in the mood because here, this is what happens. Blah, 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 and some more blah was not in the mood to do any art. So I did a lot of scribbling and wrote blah, blah. But um, what I realized already as I was doing this one, because the idea for this kind of ripply thing came from another, actually a Tam Laporte lesson in Life Book, where we drew ripples. We made a drop of water and drew ripples. This is not it. This was just kind of my where I drew my drop of water and kind of was playing around with how I wanted my water drop to look a little. But what it did was when I was making this, I had a lot of fun with that kind of circular aspect again after doing the real lesson and then, you know, doing this as my daily practice. Since I had this here, I just kind of did some other stuff with it and then did those little ripples. But what I realized is already somehow this daily practice of art has already started something else of realizing, hey, I enjoyed that kind of ripple thing. So let's do it here and get what I want, kind of this echo aura as opposed to a halo. So that daily practice is already paying off. And I'll do a flip through. I'm using my little journal that I haven't touched in ages, which is kind of a good thing because it's going to get used up. And then I can use up this one too that I bought. And I haven't really, I don't like this size. But I think for this, so it'll be really good. And I don't think it's 140. I think it's 90. But yeah, so it's already starting to like bring stuff in. And that was very exciting to see that happen because I haven't been doing it that long. It's It's been a very short while. Where is that page? Come here, page. When did I say? September 3rd, and it's the 16th. So that's not very long to have something already kind of show up for me to use in the regular art stuff. And that's kind of exciting seeing that happen. And it, the daily art practice I'm finding also is I'm playing more with my watercolors, especially on days where, like Mondays, I tend to not paint because I tend to paint a lot over my weekend. So by the time I hit Monday, I feel kind of almost wrung out because I've painted so intensely over the last two and a half days that I usually take Monday as a break. So like Mondays, I didn't want, you know, if I don't want to wash a brush, then I just use my watercolors, which I'm kind of happy about because I'm wanting to understand watercolor better. And the more you do something, the better you're going to understand it. But so far, the daily art practice is going well and is already starting to help me within 
the bigger context of what I'm doing. And that is the end of the art babble. You all have a wonderful day and I'll babble at you next time I have something I want to babble about. Bye-bye.